More from the Claremont Hotel, I've got uh, Jeff Corkish here, responsibility for tourism. I mean, this is a tourist event, isn't it, tonight, just for the travel agents, but uh, obviously pushing the air links between here and the UK. Important? Everything is important to do with tourism and, and profiling the Isle of Man. One of the great strengths we have uh, in the Isle of Man is its fantastic destination, right in the middle of the Irish Sea. But here we have tonight some of the movers and shakers in the tourism world who are so important uh, to us. They are the people who are working at the, the, the coal face, actually encouraging people. They've come to the Isle of Man, they see what the Isle of Man has to offer. The links, fantastic links we have to the Isle of Man from wherever. Uh, so they are the people who can go back and say, I've been to the Isle of Man, I've seen it, I've tasted it. Yeah, it's a great place to go there. And it's up to us to um, uh, sell the Isle of Man with all its all its great points. And here on the island, certainly from the Department of Tourism point of view, we are driving up the standards with the many award schemes that we have. And we have a very passionate and enthusiastic um, uh, tourist industry here on the Isle of Man. Okay, it changes. Here's, here's, a, here's an airline that's uh, opening these routes using small aircraft, of course. I mean, this is, 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 seems to be where it's going almost. It's a much more bespoke sort of service. And then on the other hand, you've got FlyB, who we've had now to pull out of uh, one of their services to Bristol. What do you think of that? Uh, well, it's always a shame to see some of our links uh, going. Having said that, there are always people in the wings, no pun intended, uh, who are taking up uh, the challenge of um, bringing people to and forth down for so many reasons, not only as holiday makers, but visiting friends and relatives here on the Isle of Man, and also for business reasons. And I think one of the uh, niche areas we have here, certainly on the uh, smaller aircraft, is the ease uh, and availability of getting back and forward, certainly for business meetings. We're grateful for the holiday making, of course, too. But numbers are down again at the airport, aren't they? There's, there's never been a really good upswing recently in the figures they've been able to produce. Yes, changes certainly in the patterns of the way people uh, are travelling. Now, I'm not a pundit. Why do these changes happen? We had the Olympics this year, that put a lot of people off travelling. Mm -hmm. London lost out a great deal on uh, the normal traveller, can I say, who wasn't going to put off travelling there. So their numbers will be down as well, as were other places. Uh, I think what we have here in the Isle of Man is a, a trend, I think, of people coming to the Isle of Man for so many uh, reasons, not only for tourism. Tourism is important, very important. There's very few people in the Isle of Man who are not affected, whether they know it or not, uh, by how successful uh, tourism is. But people come here for so many different reasons. And I think if we can maintain that varying reason for people to come here, that's going to keep uh, the airlines and indeed all the uh, travel services of the Isle of Man uh, buoyant using the Isle of Man as a great place for travel. I mean, are you happy with the way it's going? I mean, surely you're always looking for further development, I presume, to get people on. I mean, obviously the planes go both ways, so that's people going off island, but you're wanting to get the spend to come in, aren't you? Which is absolutely the reason why I'm here tonight and glad to be here, that we're encouraging, wherever we can, uh, people to come to the Isle of Man. Tonight we're encouraging people on the Manx 2 routes in particular, but there are so many, many routes, and I'm glad to say that the uh, Manx 2 uh, uh, people are so, so proactive in what they do here. And we're finding this now in tourism throughout, uh, not only the accommodation providers here on the Isle of Man, but everything to do with tourism. We now see new hotels coming on the market all the time. Huge amount of refurbishment and investment. In. Now, why is that? It's because people are coming to the Isle of Man for so many, many different reasons. It's up to us in the Department of Tourism to uh, help sustain, maintain, create the reasons for people to come to the Isle of Man. On the back of that, and with the help of Manx 2 and all the other uh, uh, carriers that are on the Isle of Man, that's all good to the Isle of Man. We all work together. Our strength is our size because we can get together and work together and create a plan. Have you got anything up your sleeve to, to be able to you know, get more people here because obviously the cost is, is prohibitive for a lot of people when they've got families and children and that sort of thing. Well, that's right. And I think no matter where you're going to travel in the world today, cost is going to be a problem. 
travel costs ain't going to go down. You know, they get, and here indeed in the Isle of Man, special offers uh, arrive, uh, come and go all the time. That's a necessary part of marketing. What we need to do in the Isle of Man, what we do do here is create reasons for people to come to the Isle of Man. More and more we see people using the Isle of Man as a short break. Uh, people don't come here for the fortnight anymore. Do people go for the fortnight anywhere anymore unless it's, it's very hot or it's a special deal? Here we see people come to the Isle of Man because there's a reason to come to the Isle of Man. Yes, they'll come here because of the, the serenity, the peacefulness, the security of the place, and that's great. And they'll come for the scenery, they'll come for the quality of life, but they'll also come for special events. And we have a TT triathlon coming up uh, at the end of June next year. TT, of course, is gaining momentum all the time, having said that after 100 years it's going to disappear altogether. Uh, the Max Grand Prix Festival taking on a new okay. life and also uh, cycle events. Come on, cycle is very much um, an item of the moment. So a lot going on to create that interest, ongoing interest in the Isle of Man. But what's your war chest like? I mean, your budget must be being constricted like everybody else's. Absolutely. We have to be more and more conscious of what uh, and how we spend our money. Uh, at one time, television was a great way to do it. Television is so, so expensive. And are we going to see any more people jumping off cliffs on television? Oh, I think uh, what I mean, we adverts, need... adverts, actually pay for adverts. Uh, perhaps not uh, television adverts at the moment. That yeah. is an expensive way to do it. We have to spend our money much wisely. What you will see is um, advertising the fact that the Isle of Man is a great adventure island, and that's uh, the places where you can do this. We find there's a, a high net worth individuals who uh, want to uh, cover extreme sports, who want to do things that they can't do anywhere else. And what better place to come? The exoticism of coming out okay. out of the UK but into you're not going to pay pay for advertising. This is just going to be the below the line sort of oh, stuff. No, is we it? pay for advertising. What we have been doing, you may have noticed that we have a lot more uh, advertorials now. All the major uh, newspapers, uh, magazines. You pay for that, or do you just give them a free holiday? Uh, well, there is a. Uh, no, we don't pay for that. We can not pay for that. So below will, the line, it will cost us in familiarity visits uh, for them to come and taste the island and then you get a great write up which you couldn't afford to pay for. Mm. So the estimated advertising value with the EAV uh, that we see now is, is, is huge. We couldn't put that amount of money into advertising, but there are subtle ways of putting the Isle of Man to the fore. And I think we succeeded there because more and more you'll see in all the big nationals, uh, weekend as well as midweek uh, uh, issues, you'll see big, big adverts about the uh, adverts in that they're talking about the Isle of Man as a destination for all kinds of things. Finally, are you happy in tourism? I'm happier in tourism now than perhaps I was five years ago. Uh, there is an upsurge now in new hotels. Now that what we've tried to do, for what I've tried to do, and the team too, is to encourage that confidence in the business. And now you see a lot of investment uh, hotels. We have about 140 tourism-related businesses in the pipeline, wanting to be a part of the tourism scene. Now that's all to do with. Uh, what we're doing here, attracting people to the Isle of Man, new hotels, cruise visits are up. We've got about 19 vessels at the moment interested in coming and said they're coming to the Isle of Man next year. That's all business to the Isle of Man. And more and more, I hope people are, and that's a message we're trying to put over, the tourism is so important. It is a support there for so many parts of the Isle of Man that people don't realise just what, how far the tentacles of tourism stretch it affects so many people the ordinary man in the street